Hey, Rod J back again with a little pop up Thursday afternoon stream. So, was actually off today, decided to do a little bit of a stream, had to make a little bit of a road trip this morning, and a road trip means a beer trip. So, I ended up doing a little bit of a beer haul. Thought I'd do a pop up stream to share some of the beers. Thanks for anybody that does tune in or will tune in here. And of course, I'm streaming this across the different platforms. Welcome, Eastwind. What's up, Chris? How you doing, brother? Eastwind Farms in the house. Great to see you on board. And I'm going to share some of the beers I actually picked up today. We'll still be doing at 915 Eastern. We'll still have the Beer Flow Show, so make sure you catch that. Hey, Craig, cheers, brother. And uh, But I thought I'd share some of the, uh, the beers I picked up. Here's one receipt from one spot I went to, another receipt from another one to email to me. But without further ado, hey, Donner Pass, how you doing, brother? Cheers. Let's look at some of the beers I picked up today, as if I need more beers in the house. So went to Columbus, Columbus, Ohio, had some time, decided to pop through a few places. One of the places I like up there is called Cornerstone, great little bottle shop where I picked up some beers. And then I ended up going to a new spot, which was another place... Um, that was actually inside of kind of their uh, their market. So they had like the, you know the meats, the the uh, different types of things, kind of like a fresh market, and uh, found a new beer place there. What's up there, Jason? Cheers, brother. How many are in my house ATM? Well, more now for sure. So let's take a look at the beers. Now this is actually one that kind of caught my eye. It's kind of got like an old look to it. It's actually a German beer brewed in Germany. It is the Rothhaus Pills, as you can see there. Kind of reminds me of like an old Nintendo 16 type game or something with the uh, the way the graphics are actually done. Hey, Terry, what's happening, brother? Uh, it's either really early or we are late. Nice to see you live again. Yes, uh, actually really early for me because this is just something where I picked up some beers. I did a pop-up beer stream. Um, we'll have the regular show at 9.15 Eastern later tonight. So, um, But this is from uh, it's Tannen Zaffel, and I probably just butchered that name. Uh, original Black Forest. And on the bottle itself, doesn't really give as much of the details. It is 5.3% ABV, Best Buy 926 of 19. But the label, again, is what kind of caught my eye there. Um, nice beer. Oh, Chris says, my American Airlines flight got canceled yesterday after three hours of the Are you messing with me, Chris? Are you really saying you got delayed on American Airlines? If you did get delayed on American I told you don't fly American Airlines, man. Um, hopefully, hopefully you were good um, to get back and everything. So if you did really get delayed, <laughs> at least for real. So American Airlines is getting worse. They're still fighting, I guess, with their union and stuff. Hopefully customer service took care of you, which reminds me, my whole incident, they finally did send me a check to cover the hotel I needed for that day that we stayed at and then also the transportation to and from the hotel plus extra days of parking I had to pay at the airport here. So they were, they cut me a check and they sent it to me after I had to yell at them a few times, but people are really getting screwed by that airlines right now. It's kind of sad to see some of the stuff. Uh, Jason, that says that's one of the highest rated beers from Germany. Awesome. So I'll look forward to that. If you want to know what the price is, you can see right there in the bottle is 279, 279 American. Um, had to stay in DC, same clothes back today. So you got back today. So that's a good thing. Yeah, that's how we were. We actually didn't even stay the whole time. We got the hotel for that day. Um, we had to go back and catch the flight at night. And then we got back there for the night flight, and then that was delayed, so like another two hours, which you could have just stayed at the hotel, but after it was all said and done, we finally got back home, so glad to hear you're back as well. Cheers, Hans. Welcome, brother. Now, this is actually another one that I picked up, too, and this is one I have not seen, actually, from Fatheads. This is their Sorcerer. So right there, that's going to be a new one to actually check out for me here and share some stuff on the channel. It is a Belgian-style dark ale. comes in at 9% ABV, 29 IBU. They call it a dark magical potion. This one was actually bottled for 12 19 so they got the bottling date on there, which is nice. So looking forward to checking that one out. It says, Sorcerer, cast a spell upon your senses with complex malt notes of dried fruit, raisins, figs, plums, spice cake, and a wonderful Belgian candy sugar sweetness. Brewed by a wizard? Maybe. So looking forward to checking that one out. 
Let's see. Here we got a Trappist Ale. Because you guys know I love my Belgium. So this is from Orval. The Orval Trappist Ale. So I'll be looking forward to actually checking that one out as well. Hey, welcome Beer Jesus. Nice to have you. 412, not bad at all, right? <laughs> not bad. And they have some other fresh ones up there too as I pull a few of the other bottles here. This is 6.9 ABV. You talk about a date. So this was actually bottled on 82918, but is actually good to 829-2023 on the date. So nice trap and sale. This one, $4.99 on that bottle there. And uh, looking forward to trying that. Uh, I don't think I mentioned on the, the uh, Fatheads was $3.29 if you're worried about you know comparing prices and stuff like that. I know, right? That's a deal, Jesus. That's what I thought. I was like, and that was like the last bottle they had of that one. And then going out of town, getting up to Columbus, I, obviously I wanted to get some of the local samples of what they had. And this is from Land Grant. And this is their concentrate hazy ipa so this was 239 for a can of this stuff here and i kind of like the uh the lay of the can i'll hold it back here with the uh, campbell soup type look to the uh, label there it's kind of neat kind of like an andy warhol type situation this one is what's the abv on here i thought i saw it earlier seven and a half percent and as far as the makeup uh V102 Pacific Gem Mosaic Cryo Laurel Cryo Centennial. So those are the hops that are using this one. So got the independent label on there too, as you can see. So this should be a nice one to experiment with. Need to try the summer tea. Oh, I haven't seen that one from uh, Columbus Brewing. They had another one that was a session IPA, but I didn't really pick that one up. I'm not as huge into some of the session ones. I kind of like the fuller more, but. Columbus does some nice brews up there for sure. So these are four that I have there, but wait, there's more. So we have the, another one here that I picked up from them and that's actually a six pack. So these are actually, all these beers right here are out of the one spot I mentioned, Cornerstone. This is one that I picked up that grabbed my eye too. This was Wolf's Edge Brewing, 22 ounce bottle, 6% ABV. Uh, it's actually, $4.99 is what the price was for the bottle. And uh, it's called Night Method. It's an espresso milk stout. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that one actually checks out here as well. I'm not going to read all that stuff. They had some stuff there on the side as well. I don't know why all these breweries put all that stuff into it on the side. Like you really want to sit there and read all that. But it is coffee infused. It makes note as well. So looking forward to checking that beer out. Then I finally picked this one up, which... I hadn't picked up for whatever reason before, but this is uh, from Three Floyds. It is the Space Station Middle Finger. And so I finally picked that one up. Hey, Reflex Vlogs, nice to have you join in from Mixer. Thanks, brother. Beer Jesus, uh, Espresso Milk Stout done by a Rivertown, LOL. Font size, I think, helps. <laughs> Maybe. Is it from Rivertown? Wolf said, Wolf's. Uh, Oh, you're saying they have one as well. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I hope I get enough of the Rivertown stuff down here in Cincinnati, so I wanted to get some stuff from somewhere different. But heard a lot of good things about this one. Looking forward to seeing how this one uh, checks out. Uh, Beer Jesus said he had the three Floyd Hellas. It competes with Hop Browse. No, Newport. Okay, I haven't. I haven't had the uh, the Hellas from them or the one at Hop Browse. I need to get back over to Hop House. Um, I like to check that out. Um, at some point here just cause uh they always have some good things happening there and plus their food is great so this one you talk about some of the freshness they had up there this one i don't know if you can see that under the sticker but it was actually bottled 6 18 19. so that's how fresh this one actually is uh just about a month which is actually good for us on three floyds it's hard to get them in sometimes as being ultimate all as fresh as we could and it's an American Pale Ale, so looking forward to trying that. Oh, that's pretty cool. We need to grab some beers and Beer Jesus here in Cincy as well. Uh, maybe hook up some point. And uh, this is one also that I have never seen before. And welcome, Basement Broham. Cheers, brother. Um, it's the Golden Drock. You know I like Golden Drock, but this one here is the special edition Golden Drock. Uh, oh, eight-day-old zombie dust. Not bad. Uh, this is the limited edition. Actually, 2018 is A L. I can't talk. L matured in whiskey casks. 
So this was done at Whiskey Cast. This is one that was the last of the one they had there as well. This one actually comes in ABV 10.5%, which is not uncommon for their beers, of course. Um, looking forward to actually trying this one out, seeing how this one goes down. And uh, I was surprised when I really saw that there. I had not seen anything like that before. So looking forward to trying that one. Um, Jason said, do they specify the type of whiskey or distillery? And on here, it says, created as a tribute to the grandfather of Jefferson Hill, sixth generation master brewer, combines modern brewing tech with traditional craftsmanship, does not make mention though of the whiskey here on the uh, bottle itself. If I, you know, probably online when I do the review, if I find out, I can maybe note that as well. Um, but it just has, you know, the product of Belgium. So it doesn't list what whiskey was actually involved. Uh, Beer G said, Party Source had that. I think they only got like 40 bottles. So I'd say, well, I'm going to let that sit for a while for sure. So I know I can let that go for a bit. Um, <laughs> and then I missed what uh, Craig said back at... Um, at basement broham he said lol cheers oh i think when broham was saying hello maybe cheers everyone especially kent from craig's beer reviews yeah <laughs> so this one here i've had before i don't know if you guys have saw it i don't think i did a video on it dogfish Share worldwide stout but i had an incident when i was put setting up the fridge and i was putting some new beers in i had actually lost the bottle off the back and it fell i posted photos on the instagram channel and then on uh, facebook but uh picked up another one of these this was at uh, $8.99 for the worldwide stout which is actually about a dollar dollar fifty less than what we uh, charged down here this one was actually bottled for eleven nineteen, so not too bad at all on that one and let me scroll back down here to see all the messages and then this is one i had not i had not picked up previously i hadn't really heard too much about either so this is another dogfish head beer it is the super eight super goza so looking forward to seeing how this actually goes down on the back it says our sessionable goza brew with a bevy of heroic fruits and quinoa pours a deep vibrant red with an ample addition of hawaiian sea salt so definitely want to see how that actually checks out again of course you have that independent craft beer label on there as well and put that in there oh let's get the what was the cost on this one this one was a uh, 259 for that can as well uh then this one here is another one that was local to getting in columbus this is actually from land grant it is their quadra quadra hopic series ipa simcoe citra huel melon cashmere are the hops that are used I really like to look at that can at the label. It was another one that caught my attention, so I went ahead and grabbed it and picked it up. Land Grant does some good stuff out of Columbus. Um, and this one, $1.99. That was like crazy. I thought it'd be more than what that actually was for an individual. So went ahead and grabbed this one here as well. It says, in your hands is an immersive loopler experience of the census four hop varietals, Simcoe, Citra, Hua Melon, and Cashmere, harmonize in perfect balance, building toward a hoppy crescendo of mango and melon. So that sounds pretty delicious there. And this one had the ABV of, I can find it on the can here. I want to say it was around, I it was around 7 or something, 6.7%. So that's the ABV for that one. Uh, let's see here. And then the last one of this six pack, I believe, is one that, I, another one that kind of caught my eye is from Weiner Beer Company. It's called Elevator. Just some wacky kind of artwork there, I kind of noticed. So then I picked it up and took a look at it and decided to give it a, give it a go. This one is a... Uh, dry hop saison ale with peaches so this one has some peaches in it so looking forward to seeing how this one actually uh tempers through and that's from weiner beer company this one was also buck 99 as far as abv on this one here five and a half percent so i don't think i've had a saison with peaches maybe a, i don't know if i had a saison with fruit at all actually so those are the ones I got from there. And then from the other place that I went to, I actually ended up picking up essentially four packs because they didn't have the individual stuff. 
but this is one of the four packs here and I really like the look of that as well from Sideswipe so I had not heard of them previously but they're another one here in Ohio you can get it back there it's called defaced and this one is actually an imperial red ale that comes in at 9% ABV get ready for a beer that lands like an elbow drop from a high-flying Lutra Libra brawler wrestling toasted malts and bold hops in the submission this imperial red ale is bursting with color and flavors of sweet caramel and toffee take this hoppy ale to the to the mat so this will be a neat one to actually try see how this one actually pans out always like to taste some of the red ales when i can they're not something you usually find as much out there um let's see here what else do we got wait there's more so finally and it's one that I had wanted to try for a long time. Really don't get them that much down here. Although maybe at Jungle Gyms we get them now. But I hadn't been out there in a bit. This is actually from Who Farted It. Or Who Farted It, right? So this is the Drop the Fries. And they make a comment on here. A double India Pale Ale with French fries, cocoa nibs, vanilla, and milk sugar added. Essentially, which I've never actually done... It's supposed to have a taste similar to putting your fries into your Frosty, like if you go to Wendy's, which apparently people do that. I've never done that, though. But I don't know if you guys have done that before, but it's supposed to be a really tasty brew. Uh, drink fresh. They tell you 46 degrees on here as well. Keep refrigerated. This one was actually canned on 7 2 So these were the canned on that date. And these were the last four pack they actually had of these in the pine cans so we'll be drinking those at some point here as well and because there's still more this is from Catawaba Island Brewing it is their CS Scottish Ale so I got a six pack of these as well you got I gotta dip the fries that's what you're telling me you gotta dip maybe I'll try it next time I go to Wendy's going to dip the fries there um, this one comes in a 7% ABV, 15 IBU. Uh, tells you on here, 46 temp. Also gives you the date and everything, independent seal. But uh, I always enjoy a nice Scottish ale. So I had not had anything from these guys. So hopefully it'll be a nice one to actually try. Again, one of their local ones that are there up, I guess, around the Columbus area too. And the last six pack I got was also from land grant oh you know what dang it i did buy the six pack <laughs> i bought a six pack of that quadraphonic and forgot that's how much stuff i had in my face i bought a six pack of one i just bought an individual for oh well so now i got seven of the land grant ones here may have to give them give some away i don't know what's going on just got so excited with all the different beers so these are all the different beers i actually picked up today and obviously i will get those up for some of the reviews Hopefully you guys have had some of these and you'll be able to um, tell me what you guys think of them as well. If there's anything in here you think you might want to see me try, you know, always leave a comment. I'll try to get that one worked up earlier for you to see what it may taste like. Um, but uh, it's a, it, was a, it was a good day. It was a good day buying some beer. I don't really need more. Now I got to take all of these. I got to catalog all of these into my untapped list so that I can keep track of them. But uh, next month is August, a couple weeks away. We got the uh, Four Hearted coming out from Bell's. I do want to get some of those as well. And then some of these other ones. I'm in the Cincinnati area, as I mentioned earlier. So here in Cincinnati, we just have a ton of beers. But when you go to town, you got to pick up other ones too. Let me slide back here on the comments. Welcome, uh, Ron Boy Slaw. Cool, nice to have you here. Who's actually joining from over on the Mixer site. Um, and then <laughs> uh, basement, uh, Brother said, Jesus, I want to go shopping with Rod. You know, you go with me, I'll get you some deals. Guys will tell you, there's places I know to go and you get some, I mean, I got some good deals on, I think on some of these beers anyway, but some of the regular places I go to, it's got some great deals as well. So yes, this is actually uh live Rombo. I'm actually using, and for all you guys, you know, some of you guys are coming in on YouTube, some are coming in on Mixer, some are coming on uh twitter if you're not using the mob cam app i would definitely suggest giving it a shot see if you like it i'm actually 
going live on all the channels right now. I'm going live on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, Mixer, um, everything at the same time. So all these things are working well together. And for YouTube, for you guys on YouTube that like to stream, if you un are under a thousand people, this will work and allow you to stream to YouTube mobily. So I know a lot of people got upset or pissed off when they changed that whole situation where you couldn't stream if you were under a thousand subscribers. This actually bypasses that and you're able to stream to your channel. So a nice thing is nice. And uh, let me scroll back through here. Um, yeah, and uh, uh, Chris said, am I from Cleveland? No, I'm actually in the other part of the state. I'm in, I'm in Cincinnati, so I'm in the Southwest. Uh, part of the state, but I went to Columbus about two hours from me, I guess about two to three, maybe from Cleveland. So kind of in that mid area. Uh, hey, uh, Ron Boy Sloth 16. Thank you for uh, hosting me there on the Mixer channel, spreading the word there as well. Hey, Arizona Taurus, nice to have you in, brother. Hopefully your uh, vacation is going well out there in San Diego. You're having a good time. Um, it's funny, you're in San Diego. One of the other beer guys, Kyle from No Hype Beer Reviews, he's actually out there. He was out there for a uh, I guess it was the uh, video con or whatever it may be. So he was out there doing some different things. He's still in San Diego getting around. So he's out there drinking a lot of beers and stuff too. Um, but great to have you in. Hey, Bren, welcome. Thank you. Uh, appreciate you coming in. Yes, yeah, I try to do what I can. You know me in the beer. So, you know, I run the beer channels. And with this, I can actually stream in all different places and get picked up everywhere. Uh, East, uh, Eastwind Chris says, we are having to get together with 10 YouTube cooks then in September. Shane will be there too. You're going to be in Cleveland? Um, hmm, interesting. Let me know what the dates and stuff may be. Maybe I can do something when we get up there for the weekend. We're talking about doing a road trip somewhere anyway, so that would be an easy day trip to get up to Cleveland for sure. Uh, Arizona Taurus, I'm still getting the hang of this. There's, there's a lot of stuff. I'm still getting the hang of it. I've been running a YouTube channel since... Uh, March of 2015. So it's a lot of different things happening. Um, one of the things, and we may talk about it more tonight on the show as well, but there's a lot of people that are still kind of almost like freaking out, like, oh my God, Hangouts is going away. Google is bringing out another program to back up when Hangouts, Hangouts go out, goes away. But there's also another site, which I may do a video on if we don't talk about it on the show as well which you can actually use to live stream like a hangout you can only hold up to six people but some people are starting to shift to that channel so that's an opportunity as well too and you can stream get everybody all in there and actually it lays out better than what google hangouts does so i haven't looked at the program fully yet i did download the program i may run it through here at some point to get a test run out there but just a lot of different stuff that's that's out there that you can actually use to be helping helping to accelerate your channel. It's like I can't talk here. All this beer's got me thirsty. I got to start drinking this son of a gun. Um, and then Arizona says I can only see the comments. I think I need a newer laptop. You can only see the comments when you're doing the video on what program are you doing? Are you talking about the program for this one from Mobcam? Or are you talking about somewhere else where you can only see the comments um thank you for following there uh hype hype bot um r33 ce 008 so it's like freaking talking james bond language <laughs> double 008 you know what i'm saying um but yeah so these are the beers that'll be upcoming at some point right now in the cellar i've probably got about well if i look at my untapped list it'll say i have 110 however untapped only lets you put it at once on your list so some of those are more than one beer so um with these going up I'm, I'm probably around 140 150 if that maybe but i got one of the smaller sellers from the guys i know there's guys that got like 300 400 500 beers i don't even know what you can do all, all of that i mean it's kind of like I got a buddy here who lives close to me here. He's got 600 in his beer cellar. Me and him could probably throw a block party for the town and still have beers left over. That's how many beers between that between us probably. So, but uh, you know, you got there, you find stuff, you enjoy it, you try it out, see what you like, find different things, and 
get the beers, learn about the beers and get the beers you know you can age for sure. So, you know, I get a lot of higher ABV beers, a lot of higher like stouts, higher Belgian ale, things along those lines where I know I can age those for out for a few years too. You, you don't want to age a wheat ale. You don't want to do that. So you want to get stuff that you know that you can get out there. The IPAs that you want to get that are fresh ones, get them moved up. You got to have some type of system so you're enjoying the stuff the way you want to enjoy it, the way the brewer wants you to enjoy it. So whatever you're doing, just try to track your stuff out there so you get the best enjoyment out of it but so many beers so little time but we do what we can well i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up as i approach 25 minutes here which took a lot of time with all those beers get those babies cataloged and then tonight i'm making some chicken tacos and then uh, back tonight at 9 15 we will actually um be doing a beer flow show so make sure if you guys are around you tune in for that if you like what you saw remember hit that like button of course if you haven't subscribed i know a few of you are new here hit that subscribe button as well every night at least in the foreseeable future nine o'clock you'll have uploads of new beer reviews or beer videos thursday night will be the, the main live stream at 9 15 but if you guys got ideas other things you want to see let me know i know one of the guys i see craig said said just checking out your seller list so yeah he's looking at my seller list if you're friends with me on untapped you can actually see my seller list there as well if you want to connect with me on untapped then it's the same as the show here rod j beer ventures just send me an invite I'll, I'll go ahead and join on there with you you can see the things i'm keeping in the cellar and if there's something you see that might be interesting hey just let me know you know i'll try to get it checked out for you and let you know thoughts on it as well but uh, this has got me thirsty. I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy chatting with you. I enjoyed you guys spending some time with me. Hopefully, like I said, you'll be here later tonight when we do some stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut it here. I will see you then. Keep drinking those good craft beers. And remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.